Hi everyone, I am Obiru Bhattacharji and welcome to today's class. Today, we will important topic of the discuss korbo, important concepts. Debo. The topic is gravitation. Dekho, tumi je kono jinish dhoro, ami ei ekta amar pen. Ei pen ta ke ami jodi chhere di, ei ta niche pore jay. So you will say that something is constantly pulling, pulling things down. Tai na? Tumi anything, anything uh, free float korte pare na. Always something is pulling down. For example. If you say this is a duster and you are holding the duster like this, you will see the concept is you will see the duster is exerting a force downwards and to hold the duster in this position, you have to constantly exert a force upwards. This means if I draw a, the diagram say suppose this is your hand so constantly if the mass is m of this so constantly mg is acting downwards this g is known as gravitation so in order to hold this mass m in its place in its place you have to hold it constantly you have to apply something above which actually is the reaction r which is actually justifies by newton's third law every action has its equal and opposite reaction so we write r is equal to mg so this g is actually the gravitation acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meter per second square so this is the first concept so please carefully understand three situations first situation you we are now going to explain the apparent weight inside a lift jokhon dekhbe tumi dekho jokhon lift chorcho onek shomoy hoy ki book ta halka halka lage mane nijeke halka halka lage onek shomoy ki to bhar bhar mone hoy ar ar ekta shomoy ki hoy amra ikkhuni dekhbo so first case tumi ei hocche tumi tumi eta lift e uthocho lift ta opor dike accelerate korche mane acceleration a diye opor dike jacche tale ami jodi free diagram aki free boy diagram ei khan theke tomar weight mg niche act korche ar opore tomar reaction r act korche tai to basically age ki bochalam we feel our weight due to the reaction so r is equal to mg in a stationary thing our r reaction equal to mg so our weight is the reaction r so here if we write down the equation our mass jodi m hoy opor dike jacche so opor dike r r minus mg r minus mg and whole thing our whole body is moving upwards with an acceleration of m a mass into acceleration so r is equal to m g plus m a or m g plus a so when a lift accelerates upwards when a lift accelerates upwards the man inside the apparent weight the apparent weight of the man inside the lift increases mg plus ma the ma component adds to the weight next key next dekho jodi the lift accelerates downwards abar tale ami jodi free body diagram aki mg hobe ekhane mg the reaction r will act above the lift is accelerating downwards the lift is accelerating downwards means moving downwards so here mg a dikta bhari mg minus r is equal to ma or r is equal to pm g minus a so the weight of the man decreases 
when a lift when a lift accelerates downwards the apparent weight inside the uh, the apparent weight of the man inside the lift decreases to amader halka halka lage tai na and ekhan thekei bolo if the lift is at rest then obviously eta r eta mg so the ma component is zero means eta is zero means r is equal to mg so here there is no question of apparent weight ever at a interesting question dhoro lift er shuto ta purono hoye geche ar chhire gelo ja lift er shuto tai chhire gelo jeno jibone na hoy eta lift er shuto jodi chhire jay so this acceleration will become acceleration due to gravity g so it will be free fall so in this case r is equal to m g minus a so a eta g hoye jabe means m into 0 or r is equal to 0 apparent weight of the man will become zero this is weightlessness mane oi oi amra horror film ba oi sob thriller film gulo dekhi na lift pore gele ekdom ei opore float kore lift er mathay giye jabo we will go through a phase jekhane amader nijeder body er kono weight ar thakbe na because our apparent weight will become zero so it's time for a worked out example. Chalo at a sum kori, tale bhoita kete jabe. A spring balance, see the diagram. A spring balance is attached to the ceiling of an elevator. A boy hangs his bag on the spring and the spring reads 49 Newton when the elevator is stationary. If the elevator now moves downwards, with an acceleration of 5 meter per second square what is the reading of the spring balance so when the lift so when the lift is stationary what was the reading of the spring balance what was the reading of the spring balance the reading of the spring balance was 49 newton means weight was 49 newton weight is equal to mg so 49 newton is equal to mass into 9.8 so let me find out the mass of the bag m is equal to 49 by 9.8 which comes around 5 so mass of the bag is 5 now the question is when when the elevator is moving downwards when the elevator is moving downwards with an acceleration of 5 meter per second square what is the reading of the spring balance so we know the reading is apparent weight r is equal to m bracket a g minus a m koto 5 g koto 9.8 minus a 5 which is 24 Newton so the apparent weight of the bag originally J vector weight 49 Newton chilo apparent weight is 24 Newton let us go to the next problem see we have a stationary train and a bob of mass m means a pendulum is hung from the ceiling ceiling of the train now if the train starts moving forward with an acceleration a what will be the angle theta through which the bob this pendulum m will remain suspended means if you understand that when the train was stationary the bob m was in this mean position now if the train starts moving with a forward acceleration a the bob m will come to a position here so this will be a position here and it will make an angle theta so i just want to know this value of angle theta so again if we go for a simple free body diagram if this is theta so here there will be a tension t the mass mg will be acting downwards so if i again resolve t 
into horizontal and vertical component if this is theta this will be also theta so this will be t cos theta and this will be t sin theta so do you realize t sin theta t sin theta will balance the ma which is mass into acceleration of this bob and t cos theta will be mg so if we now divide we will have sin theta by cos theta is equal to a by g or tan theta is equal to a by g or theta is equal to tan inverse a by g which is the answer so now we fully understand that if we have mass m1 and mass m2 there will be which is, if we have mass m1 and mass m2 which is separated which is separated at a distance r which is separated at distance r there will be a force of attraction between two these two which we define as gravitation this force is directly proportional to the product of the four masses m1 m2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distances of their separation so the force of gravitation f is equal to g m1 m2 r square so this is the force of gravitation when two bodies m1 and m2 are kept at a distance force of gravitation or gravitational force the magnitude of this gravitational force is given by g m1 into m2 by r square where where g where g is known as gravitational constant which is which has a value of 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square kg to the power minus 2 ebar tale eta khub sundor important situation asha jak suppose we have our pair of earth of radius r capital r and mass capital m where capital m is the mass of the earth and capital r is the radius of our earth and we have a body kept on the surface of the earth so now we can determine our value of the g the small g so let us determine the value of acceleration due to gravity so what is the force of gravitation f is equal to capital g oh let this body of b of mass m so capital m into small m by r square isn't it but again we know f is equal to mg again we know f is equal to mg so we write mg is equal to capital g capital m small m by r square mm kete galo or capital G capital M is equal to small g capital R square GM is equal to GR square just a to come for competitive exam GM is equal to GR square jhat kore to worked out example by it important onko kore ni bore dike takao if the radius of the earth were to shrink by one percent its mass remaining the same the value of g on the earth surface would ki hobe jodi amader radius of the earth 1% shrink hoy tahole ki hobe eta upsc te esche upsc te somboto 2003 te esche wbcs mains e 2015 e esche bar bar bolchi upsc er question kintu khub kora important একদম ইউপিএসসি তে এখন যেটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট ডব্লিউবিসিএস ও এখন সেটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট এরকম একটা সিচুয়েশন হয়ে যাচ্ছে যাই হোক আমরা এই ফোকাস মানে এই কোশ্চেন এর উপর ফোকাস করি উই নো জি এম ইকুয়াল টু জি আর স্কয়ার জি ইজ দা গ্র্যাভিটেশনাল কনস্ট্যান্ট এম ইজ দা মাস অফ দা আর্থ হুইচ ইজ अगेन কনস্ট্যান্ট সো উই ক্যান রাইট 
small g capital R square where R is the radius is a constant actually. They are inversely proportional to one another. Means can we write this g2 by g1 equal to R1 by R2 whole square? Can we write? So we can write like this. Ebar ki bolche radius of the earth were to shrink by 1% means g2 by g1 is equal to eta ke ami 1 dhorchi r1 ke ami 1 dhorchi r eta ke ami uh, 1 minus 0 0.01 dhorchi খুব সহজ এবার তুমি যদি এটাকে ক্যালকুলেট করে তুমি যদি স্কয়ার করো অথবা তুমি এটাকে এরকম করে লিখতে পারো g2 বাই g1 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.01 টু দি হোল টু দি পাওয়ার -2 করে বাইনোমিয়াল এক্সপ্যানশন তুমি যদি করো which will be 1 which will be actually 1 plus 2 into 0 0.01 which is equal to 1.02 or g2 is equal to 1.02 g1 so the value of the g ki hobe the value of the g 1.02 minus 1 by 1 into 100 percent which is 2 percent so the value of g would increase by 2 percent on earth surface that one kota kore dilam again bring your focus to this we have earth whose radius is capital r the mass of the earth is capital m and we have a body of small m so what is the force gravitational force f is equal to g capital m small m by r square isn't it and we also know that gm is equal to g r square এই অবধি আমি আশা করি ঠিক আছে আর একটা এবার আমার কনসেপ্ট আমাকে জানতে হবে যে এই যে আর্থের উপর আর্থের সারফেসের উপর যে কোনো কিছু আছে ইট হ্যাজ আ পোটেনশিয়াল এনার্জি ইট হ্যাজ আ পোটেনশিয়াল এনার্জি বিকজ অফ দিস গ্র্যাভিটেশনাল ফোর্স হুইচ ক্যান রিটেন অ্যাজ ইউ ইজ ইকাল টু নেগেটিভ নেগেটিভ কেন পরে বলবো নেগেটিভটা আমি এখন বাদ দিচ্ছি জি এম m by r just like them charge it moton did a come potential energy high so this is the potential energy so this is the energy now we have a gravitational field gravitational force jokun thug bay at a gravitational field chart dike thug bay ever on a cable at what velocity v e i must project I must throw this mass m, chotwater m upwards so that it escapes the earth gravitational force. Mane, okay, our earth pull down kote barbeda. This velocity is known as escape velocity, which can be calculated as half mv e square is equal to g capital M by m by r. Eta ke calculate koro, to me e g nishta pabe. V e escape velocity is equal to root 2 g m by r. Now we know g m is equal to g r square Moshao, or v e z is equal to root 2 g capital R. So escape velocity is given by v e equal to root 2 g r. Ebar, আমরা জানি জি এর ভ্যালু কত 9.8 মিটার পার সেকেন্ড স্কয়ার আর রেডিয়াস অফ দা আর্থ আর কি 6.4 ইনটু 10 টু দি পাওয়ার 6 মিটার দিস ইজ দা ভ্যালু অফ দা রেডিয়াস অফ দা আর্থ যদি এটা পুট করি এসকেপ ভেলোসিটি অফ আর্থ ভি ই হচ্ছে 11.2 কিলোমিটার পার সেকেন্ড মানে एनीथिंग ইফ ইট থ্রো any object if we throw any object with a velocity 11.2 kilometer per second upwards it will escape the earth's gravitational force like those simple bhabhe kichu kichu concepts bujhe dilam abar at a video te abar dhekha hobe